So you can see the tornado damage back behind me. Some broken tree branches, sheet metal in the trees as well. Just behind the church has some pretty substantial roof damage on it. And this is the gravity wave sensor that we mounted on the sign right on the south edge of the church. A stop sign was flattened directly next to it from southerly inflow streaming into the tornado. The church was damaged, damaged as the tornado passed by. So we definitely sampled tornado vortex with the northernmost gravity wave sensor. We deployed three up and down the road here uh, from Petri off to the north, three lines straight up. Ideally, I try to get those in a triangle configuration, but the northernmost gravity wave sensor sustained a direct hit on this tornado. And you can see some of the tree damage here as well. Thankfully, the church is okay, but it does have roof damage as well to it. Uh, but the fact that these trees were snapped just above the ground, some of them on the other side of this pile, definitely snapped just above the ground, is a sign of a pretty stout tornado. Although the damage path does look relatively narrow here. More tree damage extending off to the northeast as well. There was a car flipped on the highway just to the northeast of here. Day two happening tomorrow. Two enhanced risks for severe weather here across the Mid-South. Excited to analyze the data. It is now time to send this back to Mark. Part of the roof is ripped off. There's the sensor. There's tornado damage to the church. Roof damage out there to the church. So I'd say that that you could also see. Look at the damage path. Yeah, you can. It came yeah. right through here. It was on the ground. You can. Yeah. This was absolutely perfect placement of the sensor. Right, so I don't know if you guys could see, but... It, so the, the first one, this is the northernmost one. To the left of the road up there, you could see the, the damage the trees path. snapped off. You see the trees snapped off, those brighter areas. 